Hey there guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PS3 for debugging and, you know, to do some re really crazy cool stuff you see base hacks or do all the time. But, uh, first things first, um, what you gotta do is you gotta have a custom firmware PS3 that has DEX already installed on it, the firmware. Um, I'm not gonna show you how to do that, you can look at tutorials, you can even mess with me if you need help, but, uh, Anyway, make sure you got all that. I'm on 4.2, 1.2, DEX, custom firmware. You can be on 4.3, 0 0.2, or I don't even know if they have 4.4, 1.2 yet. But anyway, what you got to do for every single one of them is you got to have uh, ProDG Target Manager and ProDG Debugger installed on your PS3. Um, I'll put the links in the description, and I'll have to upload those to my media fire, or if I can't find the links. But um, I'll do that. But uh, first things first, make sure your PS3, um, here, let me go to that, make sure your PS3 on uh, network settings, uh, you have it to Ethernet, and the Ethernet cable is coming from your PS3 into the back of your PC Ethernet port. So the Ethernet port to your PC and Ethernet are connected together. I don't know if that's too confusing, but that's probably the only way I can explain it. All right. And for what you're going to do here is you're going to right click on your Wi-Fi bars down here, internet bars, I guess. Um, you're going to open network uh, sharing connection. You're going to change adapter settings. And uh, you got to do what I did. Um, Ethernet right here, uh, that's what, you know, is plugged in from my PS3 to the uh, PC. And you'd right click, go to properties on your Wi-Fi, or... I'm sure you can do it with another Ethernet if you have two Ethernets. It's a little confusing though, but I doubt you'd have it. Uh, but anyway, just run your computer through Wi-Fi and you'd right click on it and click allow sharing through this computer and Ethernet. Um, uncheck allow other users to control or disable because that'll cause some uh, networking issues if you do. After that, it'll say shared right here and this will give an X and then it'll say unidentified network. And stuff it'll be you'll know if it's working then on your PC or your PS3 you're gonna go to network settings uh, internet connection settings and uh, you're gonna go to uh, custom and then you click over uh, wired auto detect automatic just keep going over and then when you get to the end you can press X and test connection it should obtain the IP address internet connection PlayStation Network um, if you have a banned PS3, which I do at the moment. It's gonna say uh, uh, failed for no PlayStation Network. Um, I can fix that though. I'll do that after this goes through and does its thing. All right, see how it failed. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go and you know change my console ID. But before I do that. If you get failed on the other ones, like if it fails to obtain IP address, if it fails to obtain internet connection, you're going to go to your debug settings. And all debug PS3 should have this. If not, um, well, you didn't do something right. Um, but you're going to go down and you're going to go to, where is it? Uh, release check mode in debug settings. And it has to be on development mode, not release. And you're going to have to also go down and check uh, boot mode. Boot mode is going to want to be system software mode. If you have it in a release or debugger, it's not going to boot to normal XMB menu. It's going to boot to something weird and scary, scare you and you're not going to know what to do. Um, and then network settings for debug. You want this on single settings, not dual. Um, everything else, just leave the same. Just make sure those three things are, uh, you know, what I just told you. Um, after that, uh, oh yeah, I got to change my, con my console ID. Alright, you're going to click on PS3 Target Manager. Don't mess with the debugger yet. That's for pretty much the games and stuff. But um, you're going to search for targets up here. And since it's connected with an Ethernet and you shared it, you're going to want to go to 137, 192.168.137.0 and to 192.168.137.255. You're going to hit the screen refresh button and the IP address in your PS3 should pop up in here. And if it doesn't, you did something wrong um, just keep checking it see mine popped up I already have it obviously it's right here I just renamed it yeah <laughs> uh, I'm on 4.21 um, you see it there and there's the IP uh, for the PS3 because it's running through the computer it's gonna have 137 
and it's on port 1000 and I would right click and connect but I'll do that in a second and then for a console ID I'm just gonna change it to a valid one right now and um, change that go back to here I can connect it you're not gonna really notice anything once it's connected it just connects and you don't really notice it on your PS3 which is pretty cool but uh, to make sure um, for some reason it's really green that was weird um, uh, I think I got an error um, I'm gonna try and sign in now um, see that it did that uh, bah, 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 bah. I guess I could have went to network settings again and showed you that it would have not failed for PlayStation Network but signed in um, my PS3 just froze but that was because I uh, did I connected the PS3 target manager wrong you're supposed to do this um as soon as you boot up your PS3 just connect it and if it does anything on your PS3 you did it wrong you have to wait and connect it when it's not when it's not doing anything because if you connect it while it's doing something it'll like give you an error and it'll freeze your PS3 so yeah okay there we go it's connected now and I got that error up there of course and signed out of PlayStation Network because my console ID is banned but uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, just make sure our, if you get any errors it's probably something to do with your network adapter you have to make sure your adapter settings is all set up right in here if not I mean just make sure your Wi-Fi is shared with your Ethernet that's the main thing and I do get errors occasionally because my computer and my firewall is retarded and I do have problems occasionally you might have the same problems I get like sometimes it'll be weird and it might not give you an IP just start your PC restart your PS3 restart your router and if not, neither of the three of those work, well, I guess just screw around with the adapter and whatnot. And now for the debugger, um, you connect, you make sure you're connected to the target manager, you got all that running. Now for this, um, you're going to see all these letters, Ds, um, that means it's not connected and it won't work. But um, on the PS3, I have everything connected, um, signed in. And uh, you just, by the way, this is Call of Duty Marvel 3. I just had it, I changed the param SFO to Ghost. So if that confuses you. Um, anyway, this is all uh, going. You're going to see, you're going to want to hit this auto update up here and make sure you have a debugged eboot for your game. Um, I guess I could put a link for that in there. That won't be too hard. Um, link to the debugged eboot will be down in the description. And here's the process for the debug deboot um, so that's working and <clears throat> if you don't know how to put a debug deboot on your uh, game well it's why you on a custom firmware that's pretty easy but if you don't just google it uh, anyway the process ID is here the games here I'm going to go to kernel explorer on my custom firmware down here console output patch boot see it read the patch the eboot and whatnot um you're gonna go down here right click and now uh, you're gonna want process i don't know if this shows up just uh right click change view processes but i want it on memory but um, you're gonna right click attach process the game's gonna freeze down here you're gonna see the smoke yep there it stopped continue without symbols this is gonna change without the d's and stuff if you want to go to process press the play button and uh so yeah now that that's done you're gonna go you're gonna see a lot of zeros you might see some letters here and there like that but uh now I'm gonna show you where if you don't want to learn too much about this it's not a big deal they have uh, programs here's my program I just made it's beta it's not finished um, see it's connected and uh, you just um, change my name Chuck Norris Wiz Khalifa blah 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 so yeah um you're gonna see a little lag difference that's because my HTTPVR is programmed to do that uh, anyway I'm going to do something from an offset that has not been released yet and it's gonna be my create a class bowling alright there we go so create a class there we go um this I repeat has not been released and it's not going to be released because the way this works, you choose the class, you're invisible, and you're in like a 
even though you're invisible, if they shoot you, you go into afterlife. So you're dead. They can shoot you. They get hit markers, and you go into afterlife. Um, I guess I could try it real quick. I don't know how. I haven't really used it. Um. <laughs> yeah, you get to start before the match starts, I guess, too. Um. And, oh, I got a weapon. Oh my god, dude, it's fucking lag. What the fuck? Whoa. Um, I don't think they can see me. Shit, this is fucked up. So there you got it. This isn't released yet, but this is this works on official firmware, and this I would release, but then I would release this, but I guess two people with the same the same class if they use the invisible class at the same time, it'll lag the two people out, and it won't be no fun. Everybody will be lagging out every time they use the class. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. I guess if you need any help, questions, just comment, uh, PM, whatever, and comment, like, and subscribe, that would be great, and yeah, that's it, peace out.